The Reading Brain. The fast changing world has changed the way we live. It has also changed the way we teach and, by corollary, the way we learn. Technology is incessantly seeking to improve and enhance teaching methods. Neuroscience, with each new discovery, is constantly prescribing more and more effective learning techniques. One of the best discoveries of recent neurological research is that teachers can use powerful technology to continually build stronger and more efficient pathways to facilitate the learning process. The process of learning to read benefits from this discovery. Unlike walking, talking and using our hands, reading is not a skill we learn naturally. Reading involves deciphering a man-made written code. It is a complex, higher-order cognitive function that requires simultaneous working of multiple skills and the synchronized functioning of different parts of our brain, not unlike the multiple senses we use when riding a bicycle. Research done in neuroscience suggests that reading is best taught by following the way the brain works. Different parts of the brain are used for different aspects of learning and cognition, and these parts communicate with one another in a specific, coordinated manner. In studies involving successful readers, neuroscientists study which areas are used when test subjects read. Using brain imaging techniques, they are able to map out areas and neural pathways employed by successful readers. How does the brain acquire reading skill? The development of literacy skill begins with listening. A baby first listens to the sounds of his surroundings. As he listens to these sounds and hears the spoken words of those around him, he makes his first few steps towards language acquisition. Even nursery rhymes prepare his brain for the sound structure of language, which will build into phonemic awareness. He continues to develop his language skills by talking. When he reaches the age of about four, his brain is ready to learn to read. During this period, understanding the letter-sound relationship is essential for his reading skills to progress. The ability to differentiate clear, sharp sounds is crucial for brain development and for comprehension of written words. Having an efficient, reading-ready brain prepares the child for literacy as it takes such a brain to match sounds to language, language to reading, and reading to comprehension. How does the reading brain work? Reading is a complex process. It requires different areas of the brain to be activated in a coordinated and synchronized way, just like an orchestra to maximize our ability to decode written text. The temporal lobe, located towards the lower back of the brain, is the area of the brain responsible for discriminating speech sounds. Misperception of the smallest part of speech, a phoneme, can completely change the meaning of a word or sentence. Listen to fair and ver in the words fan and van. The consonant part of these syllables is heard for only a fraction of a second at the onset of the words. But misperception of this swift sound can have huge implications when listening to instructions and information. Children who have problems differentiating speech sounds at the phonemic level will struggle with phonological awareness and with decoding words. The frontal lobe, located at the front of the brain, with the left and right half, is involved in many functions, such as movement, 
decision making, problem solving, planning, and memory. The left half is language related and is responsible for speech production, reading fluency, grammatical usage, and comprehension of grammar. Children with grammatical comprehension problems also have difficulty with prefixes, suffixes, and complex grammatical sentences. The angular gyrus, situated at the core of the brain, near the back and top side of the temporal lobe, functions as a reading integrator. It is the hub that helps us convert visual input to audio output. If this part of the brain is not well developed, the child may not be able to relate the letters S A T to the word set, even though he might have used that word many times. These brain areas do not work in isolation. They act as parts of the brain's network. When you strengthen one area, it improves the entire network. Conversely, if you do not use an area, it weakens and falls into disrepair, just like an abandoned building. What does it take to change brain patterns, increase brain activity, and strengthen the network? The key is brain connections. If the linkages are frequently connected, the links can be made permanent. By this, it simply means that the skills learned are retained and can be further developed. It is proven that reward-driven motivation increases brain activity and produces change in brain patterns. Timely motivation helps facilitate the release of chemicals like dopamine and acetylcholine which cement brain connections and make them last. Reward and motivation should also be given in a stepwise manner, in increasing order of task difficulty. Such adaptivity keeps the brain engaged and maintains a success rate that is both gratifying and challenging. The connections can also be cemented by frequent and intense practice. Just like a muscle, the brain can be strengthened by continuous and repetitive practice. Ask any successful athlete, how does he or she get to be a winner? The answer will undoubtedly be by practicing hard. Simultaneous development of cognitive skills strengthens the connections of auditory, language, and reading skills and cannot be developed in isolation. UNIC has developed a learn-to-read program called Phonics Fun that takes a scientific approach to teaching children how to read. This program integrates the recommendations of neuroscience in regard to the learning pattern of the brain with technology, pedagogy, and systematic synthetic phonics for a unique learning experience designed to teach the learner to read within a very short time. How are the findings of neuroscience integrated with technology, pedagogy, and phonics in Phonics Fun? Our brain operates on a use it or lose it principle. Only those connections and pathways that are frequently activated are retained. Thus, reading needs to be taught correctly, or the effort will be wasted. To help us teach reading correctly, we have used computer technology, and with it comes all the advantages associated with using a computer. Learning with Phonics Fun is motivation enough for the child. It provides a learning environment that is learner-centered, multi-sensory, self-paced, activity-fortified, and relevant. With Phonics Fun, learning is its own reward, though the child does get additional encouragement and incentives. The program helps develop the brain's adaptivity by carefully escalating task difficulty to keep the brain engaged. 
the stepwise build-up of concepts from simple to complex is not only good pedagogical strategy, it is also at the heart of the systematic synthetic phonics approach. Effective learning demands constant practice, and that means constant coaching. This can put a strain on many a flesh and blood teacher, but the computer is a tireless workhorse, and endless repetitions of lessons and practices will not make the computer angry. Learners can repeat lessons as many times as they want, with just a click. Multisensory interactive lessons have long been associated with multimedia-based learning. Phonics fun is all this and more. There are songs and chants that require simultaneous deployment of different skills. This strengthens the connections of auditory, language and reading faculties and stimulates the brain, which in turn promotes learning by increasing brain activity. An important aspect of the systematic synthetic phonics approach is the pace at which lessons are taught. Phonics Fund's fast-paced short lessons come with interactive exercises. Coupled with regular practice, these fast-paced lessons build confidence and develop reading fluency. In short, Phonics Fun draws from the findings of brain research to build stronger and more efficient pathways to facilitate the process of learning to read. For further information about Phonics Fun, please visit our website www.eunic.com.my.